on cardigan clothes. Hey everyone! So, as you may have seen, I've added a little intro to this video and, and my title of this video is called On Cardigan Close, part one. So, that only means one thing, my door opened. <laughs> so, I am going to be doing a, where is this hair? Okay, found it. I am going to be doing a series called On Cardigan Close, where I'm going to be talking about the different times I went to Cardigan Close. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you stories, things that happened on camera, things that happened off camera and it's going to be really fun. So, I'm excited for this. I hope you are too. So, let's get into the video. <laughs> the first one I'm going to be talking about is a road trip to dot dot dot. I'll leave the vlogs, I'll leave the vlogs like in each video that I talk about below so you can go watch it if you want to. This vlog has actually got 8,000 views. What? <laughs> um, so that's crazy. And yeah, this happened on the 21st of April 2017. And the first story I'm going to be talking about is me and Mikey having a child. <laughs> So, let me explain. I was stood in between Brooke and Mikey. They were a bit like a further away from me. They were like here and I was where my head is like, ooh, hi. Um, <laughs> like just minding my own business doing, I don't know what I was doing actually. I was probably on my phone doing something, I don't know. Um, and I heard Mikey go, ah, oh, I would really love a child. And I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, that's that's normal because there was a lot of children about running about the place. And then Brooklyn goes, oh, you and Steph can have a child. And I looked up like, what? <laughs> and then Brooke, and then Mikey goes, yeah, I'm up for it. And I'm like, sorry, what's happened? And then Brooke goes, Steph, you and Mikey are going to have a child. And I'm like that's news to me <laughs> and then he carries on going and then him and Katie are gonna have a child so that was a great time and um, we're just making families here <laughs> so yeah me and Mikey are having a child I swear I did a Q&A about that <laughs> but yeah <laughs> we're not it's fine me and Mikey don't have a child he's great Brooke's great everybody's great I don't have a child of any sort. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Basically, because there was a McDonald's by the park, I say by, it was a bit of a far walk, but never mind. Um, I was like, oh, I really want a hot chocolate. I think it was really cold. I swear I didn't wear a coat, but that's me for you. Um, and so I went to the McDonald's and bought myself a hot chocolate. Halfway through at traffic lights, my friend's like, hello, Brooklyn's here. And I'm like, hello, okay, I'm going to run now. <laughs> Very much, it was quite a long run. And I had hot chocolate in my hand. I did start running, I stopped. And then when I got onto cardigan close, <laughs> Um, I like started running again. I could see Brooklyn walking down the road. So he would have passed me anyway. There was like no way I wouldn't have like said hi to him or anything unless he decided to run past me. Like, like, nope. <laughs> but I carried on running. Say this was my hot chocolate. Let's close the lid. I was like this. <laughs> spilling hot chocolate down me and then I could hear Brooklyn going stop running don't run you've got hot chocolate don't run and I'm here still running like I'm ignoring you Brooklyn because somehow he's gonna magically disappear and I won't ever meet him ever again <laughs> so I carried on running burnt my hand a little bit but it's okay because I hugged Brooklyn sounding like Darth Vader had a heart attack <laughs> So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Even though he then went to the shop and came back and sat down with us for a few hours. 
There was no need for me to run and burn my hand. And then I also burnt my tongue because the hot chocolate was too hot. We love me be me. So that was a great time. Basically, because we left Birmingham so early, we got up at like four o'clock in the morning and the, the shop that was next to my friend's house um, was like open at five o'clock in the morning. So my five o'clock in the morning purchase was little Nerf guns. There was two. To this day, I have no idea where they went. I don't know if Brooklyn took one or if the little kids in the park have kept them. I have no idea. Um, but I don't have them and neither does any of us. So they're obviously still in the park somewhere or at somebody's house. Um, so yeah, my five o'clock in the morning purchase was like 50p little Nerf guns that weren't actually Nerf guns, but they were. Um, so they were entertaining for the whole day and <laughs> Brooklyn was holding, he was sat opposite me because we'd made like a circle and I was like here and Brooklyn was like here. Brooklyn was there, you are. Hi, you're Brooklyn now. Um, and he was holding the Nerf gun and I had my hot chocolate still um, or it was a monster. I don't know what drink it was, but it, it, it was full. It had stuff in it. Brooklyn had this is like the nerf gun he'd been like this like towards me and I went no it has stuff in it he then went wait what has stuff in it I was talking about the drink I don't know what Brooklyn was talking about <laughs> what's got stuff in it <laughs> we're drinking um, uh, you were oh, oh. Uh, right we need to get off this topic now <laughs> Anyways, the last story I'm going to be talking about is the Magic Banana song. What a tune. Andy Fowler, a round of applause for you for the Magic Banana song. It makes zero sense, but it's great. And Brooklyn had a great reaction to it. What the flip was going on? Um, so yeah, <laughs> the Magic Banana song, if you can ever find it go check it out it's great it's very long he outs boy band members and just talks about magic bananas for a long time so that's a great video to watch that was my first episode um of this series on cardigan close i hope you enjoyed it hope you're excited for more videos because i've got plenty more things to talk about and yeah, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new, hi, I'm Steph. I'm talking a boy band. I'm talking a boy band. I'm talking about a boy band called Road Trip. Go check them out. They're great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. That was a weird bye.